Okay, guys, and yeah, this is this is the bathroom. I, you may be wondering why I'm in the bathroom right now. I use this in Jurassic World High School Slasher when when that when that, Dylan, that's the name I gave the character when Dylan was using the bathroom, and so basically this isn't. This isn't for updates, but I'm just going to list off another Gojira Zeto info. Um, the Shobijin are going to, are going to be in Gojira Zeto, but they're not going to be like what you expect. Um, yeah, I'll reveal it to you later. But what I'm really doing this video for is... This bathroom curtain. So basically, there's a lot to go off of this. Um, um, basically, I've actually showed this in that skit video, but like this part particularly. So basically, I'm just gonna go through the stuff. It's pretty. It's some pretty good 3D modeling. Uh, that's what I'm assuming this is because it looks like something you would. See, made out of blender, or daz, or something. I don't know, but basically, like, um, basically, um, yeah, it's um, not really, not really, um, not really, um, it's not really groundbreaking ac accuracy, right? Accuracy wise, but it's good. So basically. Like other than the accuracy, the one thing that the one thing about this thing that this um I don't know what to call it really. The one thing about this is the time. The like the time is unclear. Like literally, you have jumbles of basically like you have creatures of basically like every single era in in the entire Earth. Earth's history, the entire prehistory, basically, except for the Ice Age and stuff like that. So basically, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to take place in the Cretaceous because the the three main dinosaurs, T Rex, T Rex, Deinonychus. I know this is supposed, this is probably supposed to be Velociraptor, but I'm making it Deinonychus. Because it looks more like Deinonychus and Triceratops, they're all they are all from the late Cretaceous North America. But literally everything, a lot of the other things are not. I mean, you got this Ankylosaurus, which is from late Cretaceous North America, and then below it. Hey, you're not even from the Mesozoic. What are you doing? Here? So you have. Um, you have the stegosaurs right here, then, um, you have the spinosaurus, which is from Cretaceous Africa, then you got some brachiosauruses, which are, of course, from the Jurassic, then you got some pteranodons, which are horrifying, by the way, and then you got some more primitive pterosaurs, and then... You also got, the, oh, I mentioned that already. The, the layer, then you got these abominations. I have no idea what kind of hadrosaurs these are supposed to be. And, uh, final, cre final creature I can see is, are these things. These green thingies, these green little thingies that are right next to a raptor. But I have absolutely no idea what these are supposed to be. I mean, seriously. I mean, I know a lot of dinosaurs, but I, I, like, not a single cell in my brain can figure out what the heck this thing is. And to finish this video off, here's some concept art I did for Gogeta Zeto Episode 4, where, where Godzilla, Rodan, and Mafra fight King Ghidorah. So basically, 
um, here's here's your first your first look at the final design for King Ghidorah. And here's the designs for for got for Zeno Goji, Zeno Rado, and Zeno Mosu, like you've seen before. And yes, King Ghidorah will have those crescents on his on his forehead. I mean, usually they're on the snout. I think. No, they're on the sword. I mean, they're on the snout in this thing. Actually, a horn on the, like a spike on the snout does seem like a pretty cool idea. So I may or may not be changing King Ghidorah's design slightly. But yeah, the reason and the reason why there's this red spot on Mothra's wing is because she got injured by one of Godzilla's. I mean, I mean one of Ghidorah's gravity beams. Oh yeah, I forgot to color the color the ground. Do that. Wait a second. Boom! It's grass. It's not really in the city or anything. So there's that. Yeah, Ghidorah's Ghidorah's about to about to start kicking. Start and Godzilla's about to start kicking Ghidorah's butt. So I'm calling this Rodan because Ma and Mafra Mafra will be slightly helping. I mean. Because she won't be able to fly because you know her injured wing. So yeah, that that basically marks the end of this video. And by the way, here's the Shobajin. Yeah, they're gonna be like statues. Um, they still have their tele and telekinetic abilities, but they're gonna be they're basically like they they're basically trapped in these statue thingies. Basically, like, here's Mole. Um, yeah, I, I researched their names. Um, here's Mole. Uh, she has red hair. To signify her red clothing in the Rebirth of Mothra movies. And she has her arms tucked in, tucked to her body. And then we have Laura. She has blue hair, and she has her arms out, like, welcoming basically so yeah that's that that's that, that's yeah and i added mafra and i've i'll find a way on the video now